so much and such sad news this morning as those saturating rain and strong winds knocked down a massive tree onto a home in DeKalb County and that killed a five year old boy. Savannah Levins is live on that scene. Savannah just absolutely devastating news to start this new year. Have we learned anything more oh, about that I boy or the family? Yeah, so they haven't uh, ID that little boy yet, but yeah, I'm out of this is such a tragedy. I mean, look at how big that tree is. It essentially split this home in half. I spoke with fire and rescue crews here on the scene. They said the call for the tree on a home came in around 5 a.m. When they arrived, they heard the mom screaming for help from inside. They were able to get in and rescue her. Miraculously, she was unharmed, but unfortunately, her five-year-old son found dead inside. Now, right now, investigators are still trying to figure out exactly what happened here, but right now, they say it seems like this really was just a tragedy where this was a live tree that just came down because of all the severe weather we've been having. This is, this is a tough one. This is uh, this is Mother Nature, uh, unfortunately, uh, one of those things that are unforeseen. And, um, you know, obviously, if the tree's old or something like that, you can get it removed or you need to have it removed, um, you know, or, or trim some of the branches off to, to lessen the weight. But this is one of those things where we've been receiving a lot of rain over the last week or so and the ground's just soft. And with the high winds, it's just a recipe for, you know, trees being down. So what's happening right now is crews are working to kind of cut down those branches and cut apart that tree bit by bit because it's really insecure right now. So they're trying to secure that scene. It's probably going to take several hours. Once they do uh, get that secure, they're going to be able to go in and recover that little boy's body. But really, you know, you just feel for that mom, the family, the loved ones of that little boy. You really can't imagine and we're sending them all of our love. Oh my goodness, and just to hear that his body is still inside. I know that as soon as we hear anything about his name or how people are working to support his family, you'll bring us that information.